pastor of Community Lutheran Church, and I'd like to welcome all of you uh, to our annual Christmas cantata. Of course, we didn't have this cantata last year because of the pandemic, which of course is still going on. Uh, but the promise we have is in this uncertain world that's filled with suffering and hatred, the grace and love of God has broken into this world through our Savior's birth. And this is the perfect time to celebrate uh, the, 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 the peace and joy that we have in Christ Jesus. Having said that the pandemic is still going on, I do encourage you, if you have face masks, to wear face masks. You're not required to, uh, but, we, uh, uh, but uh, we do encourage you to do so. Uh, we figured that uh, we, the choir, are going to blow lots of COVID at you, yourselves, <laughs> and other sicknesses, and you don't need to uh, share in that with us. Thank you. But, but, uh, but you, you don't have to, but we do uh, uh, ask you if you, if you would. Um, the other thing is, if please uh, turn off your cell phones or, or silence them. This uh, is a requirement. Yeah. <laughs> but but you know, you're going to throw the choir off if we hear the music on your phone going up, especially the pastor singing with them. And so we do encourage you to silence your phones. Uh, our cantata is directed by uh, Jean Bristol, our fearless leader. And, and uh, it, it's, we do pray that this uh, uh, cantata that we'll be seeing the, the story again of our Savior's birth. But we'll bless you and inspire you to share this story with others. Thank you again for coming.
we're going to let you stand a while, because you've got a lot of sitting to do. Join us, please, for the first Noel. And you really do sound good tonight. <laughs> Thank you. 
Two comments. I'm going to thank a whole bunch of people. If you could withhold your applause, we'll get you the whole the whole list, and then we'll give them all a big round. I'd like to thank Tori Helm for volunteering to usher. Tori, thank you. Uh, folks, if you're in the back end, you're having a hard time uh, negotiating in the dark. Tori, Tori is there to assist. Can you wave at us, Tori? So we, there we go. Right. No. <laughs> thank you. Uh, we have to acknowledge our multi-talented Constanza Zander, flute, voice, and everything. She's, she's the, the, the real deal. We enjoy it. Uh, behind the scenes and always present is our publicist and, and our advisor, Peggy Boone. Be, give us a wave so we know who we're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the person who created this tradition, Director Emeritus Dean Leuthauser and his lovely wife Barbara, who is, I think, the brains of the upper. Oh. Uh, Noni Robnitz, where'd you go? Noni! She gets, I tell you, Noni is always there. The time, the talent, all the stuff that she does at the keyboard. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, we have to thank the members of the of the choir for putting up with me night after night after night. Grumpy, now loud, now soft, now something else. Thank you, guys. Um, and we really would be remiss if we did not acknowledge our, our, our pastor, our benevolent shepherd, Tim. Amazing guy, tells a message in, in such a special way. Buddy Reem, our resident prophet. Who, when you listen to him read, you will know, you will know why Buddy's here. Uh, he feels it and, and helps us do it. Um, and thank you for taking your time to share share some, some special time with us. Um, it means everything. Because we hope that all of us will focus on the message and the meaning of the music in the program, I'd like to acknowledge soloist Dean Leuthauser in advance for sharing his voice with us in the seventh number of the Gitata. You'll get to hear him twice, because we'll offer a reprise at, at, of the piece as you exit the sanctuary. Well, not as you exit, but before you exit. So you get to hear, you get to hear Dean twice. So if the first time doesn't go so well, <laughs> uh, some, some thoughts about the Gitata tonight. And my intent is to help you find some special points of interest. If you're like me, I, I, if I don't have something active, I, my mind starts to wander, I get bored. So ho hopefully this will give you something to think about. Um, well, we'd like to help you focus on the intended message in a couple of ways. In addition to Buddy, who reads the scriptures upon which some of the numbers are based, we've also printed lyrics to the non-scriptural text to help you kind of just think about what we're trying to convey. In the next structure of the cantata, Numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 in the Gitata are all based on the same chant-like melody, and that it's designed to help us reflect on how the action of the story unfolds. First, the prophecy foretelling the coming of Christ, then the trip to Bethlehem, and the interactions of the shepherds and the angels, and then of the experiences shared by the group that we now call wise men. The anthems that come before and after after these interviews, the odd number of pieces we made, speak to our state of being and, and the, the state of being for those who are actually present for, for Christmas. The first number, number one, expresses our longing for Emmanuel. The third, fifth, and seventh explore how we prepare the way for Christ and how we and the angels observe the silent night of the birth. Look for my favorite moment in music when the Christ child is first observed firsthand. A favorite moment. Numbers 9 11, and 11 express our feelings as we gaze upon the star of Bethlehem and on the child. And number 12 allows us to feel the joy of the coming of the Messiah. So we hope that you will let yourselves go, use your imaginations, travel with us as we tell one of the greatest stories of humility and hope ever. We hope you find something meaning in the music we share. Thank you.
my spirit waits, my spirit waits for Emmanuel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. 
the second reading comes from the Apostle Luke. Luke writes, It came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria, so all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. And Joseph also went up in Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was a child. So it was that they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered.
Now there were, in the same country, shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy that will be to all the people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men.
This reading is from the Apostle Matthew. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where was he who was born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. Rejoice! 
this is a reading from Matthew also, the Apostle Matthew. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child, and when you have found him, bring back word to me, that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, until it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother. And they fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
to our concert this evening. Uh, we do pray that the spirit of Christmas was bestowed to you, that is, the Holy Spirit, who inspires us uh, to know the loving Christ in our lives. I do want to thank again Sean Bristle for conducting us uh, this, uh, this year. Thank you to all of our soloists, instrumentalists. I do want to say thank you to Nicole Booth for being the, 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 the computer extraordinaire, running the computer <laughs> and, and singing with us at the same time. That's not easy. And thank you again to Buddy Rain uh, uh, for, for being our resident prophet. Again, we do, yes. Again, we do want to thank you again, and we do pray this is tr uh, uh, truly inspiring for you and something you will share with others. And one more thing, happy birthday again, <laughs> Sally. It is her 90th birthday today. <laughs> I've always said, if you're embarrassed, if I compliment you in public, you need to be embarrassed more often. <laughs> so, happy birthday. So again, remember that Jesus entered the world as a vulnerable, naked, uh, helpless child. And he is with us in our most vulnerable moments. Let the love of Christ burn in your hearts brightly and share this love with the world that desperately needs it. Thank you for coming. The service never ends. It, it must, must be there. <laughs> Glory to God, now a child is born. Glory to God in the highest heaven. 
prayed for and come to you. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Coming to bring you amazing news. Glory to God in the highest heaven. In Bethlehem now a child is born. Glory to God in the highest heaven. A Savior he is Christ the Lord. Glory to God. Now to the major go. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Find the child there in swaddling clothes. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Come. When you see him, you'll find him grace. And praise the Lord with joyful noise. Glory to God. We're singing. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Glory to God now the child is born. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Glory to God.